Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later because we have another Transformers 1 Optimus Prime to consider. And this time, it's the Power Flip version. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited for this one. I saw an advert for it back when it first was announced. It looks gimmicky as you like. <laughs> Just a lot of fun. I can't wait to check it out. Especially as it has no less than four separate modes. Three robot modes, admittedly, but still, it counts. Four modes, it still counts. Uh, and a very unique transformation. And of course, we'll be doing some comparisons with the Studio Series toy, the Mainline Deluxe, and the Ultimate. Energon version, and it is worth me saying that this review is brought to you by TF Source, so you will find a link to their site in the description below, and you can check them out for all your Transformers needs. But we're going to waste no time on this one. Serious business this, when you've got new toys to check out. Looks to be one of the bigger options for Optimus as well that we've seen, and definitely one of the more stylized. Absolutely not 100%. There you go, okay, he's kicking off already. So definitely promises to be a lot of fun, this one. But yeah, he's absolutely not 100% accurate versus the screen, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, he's already... <laughs> He's already at it. What's going on? You know, sometimes I try and make these videos look all nice and professional, and honestly, the toys are just not having any of it. This is just what I've got to work with. Nearly missed his little sword just here. Mustn't forget that. And here he is right at the box, and it's kind of hard to know where to start with this thing, really. Obviously, it's full of gimmicks, and it's got four modes, as I say, but they've presented it here in the largest of those, the Ultimate Optimus Prime mode, as it's called, which is not really something that you get in the film, but still, it looks kind of cool. First things first, he's not quite Ultimate yet, because you've actually got to... It's gonna... This is gonna happen a lot. I think this is gonna be a theme on this video. Yes, you've got to extend the legs. Like that. <laughs> Will you let me finish? <laughs> now he's ultimate. See, he's got the longer limbs, he's got the taller stature. This is ultimate Optimus Prime. And it, it's a really fun idea. I don't know, there's something very... Japanese robo about it? Like it's almost like Brave or Gundam or whatever, I don't know. It's... It's cool, anyway, I kind of like it. Like, spoiler alert, but this is absolutely not what you get in the film at all, right? But this kind of helmet that actually flips over, as we'll see. Uh, it, you know, it kind of looks like your traditional Optimus Prime in a way, but I think it's this winged bit on the chest just here that feels very Takara Tomy. Like, I wonder how prevalent their influence was in the design of this toy, I'm, I'm sure that they had a lot to, to do with it, you know? Uh, I don't know, I, I really like it, honestly. It's, as I say, a little bit different. It, it's definitely different to the other Optimus Prime toys we've looked at. Worth saying that the clear blue plastic does catch the light really nicely. You can see his little matrix just in there as well, so that's cool. Really like the kind of head design just there, although not much is kind of made of the eyes underneath, but still, that's fine. Got a few little paint applications and things. It, it looks really good, honestly. I mean, otherwise, it's a fairly simple take on the design. It's got the kind of classic uh, crotch section that we're kind of now familiar with from the movie. Movie. Obviously, it's got that button. We stand together. Yeah, yeah exactly. Front and center. There he is. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it, honestly, it looks good. The finish is fine. It, it presents well. Absolutely a blockier and simpler toy, like in terms of articulation and that kind of stuff, than the others that we've looked at so far. But that's not what this is about. It's purely and simply a gimmick toy. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. I mean, it's kind of almost not worth talking about the articulation, but there is some at the hips. So that's something. None at the knees. Absolutely none none at the waist or anything like that, so you're not really going to pose him too much with that, are you? And actually, there is a bit of thigh rotation as well, so that's pretty welcome. There's not even any ankle tilt in this case, so that's a thing. Much more going on in the arms, though, with shoulders that come up about 90 degrees, but then a second joint that will take you much further, actually, quite a way up, and uh, they will go all the way up and over as well, and there's a kind of springy joint there for transformation, I suspect, uh, and there is a bicep rotation, and you get a nice clicky joint at the elbow with about 90 degrees there as well, and there's even a little bit of wrist swivel which is nice and then if you want to you can flip these side guns these kind of smokestack things round to the front or swivel them around however you want really uh, and that's a little something that's kind of fun but yeah there's little doubt that he is a bit of a brick overall particularly compared to some of the other Transformers 1 Optimus Primes that we've looked at but that's okay that's not what this toy is about now there are of course some accessories to talk about the first of which is the energy axe much like the other toys but this guy also has a bit of a sword as well. So that's a bit different. I've got no idea where the inspiration for this thing comes from, because it's definitely not in the film. It's got a bit of gold paint on the one side, not on the other, and that's fine. But I don't know, if anything, it kind of contributes to those super robot vibes yet again. Axe looks pretty cool. It's mostly blue translucent plastic with a little bit of silver paint just on there. So that's kind of nice. Compares pretty favorably to the other examples we've seen. There's then also this backpack piece, which is kind of the top of his vehicle mode, and it kind of clips on very much like his G1 rocket pack. 
track in a way. I don't know if that's a, a direct homage or not, but fair to say it does stick out quite a bit. <laughs> just there kind of gives him quite the backpack going on or in this case it can actually be pegged onto the side of his arm as well using the little peg hole and it kind of becomes a, a shield to go with the sword so that's that's pretty cool isn't it it means you've got to recognize one of your knights like again props to them for doing something a little bit different with this one you know it's not just like another carbon copy of the same character and i do actually think that looks pretty cool and it's the kind of thing that my boy will really go for but of course the main gimmick here are the lights and sounds which are all activated using this little button on his waist we stand together. We sure do. The Matrix of Leadership. Yeah, absolutely. Prime Power Armor. There you go. Now one final gimmick here is that you can get the Matrix out as well. And that just kind of clips in to the side of the hand like so little bit weird especially is because you can't bring the hands together like the studio series one it's quite a similar solution but there's no way to make him hold it double-handed so it just kind of looks a bit casual with it if anything but anyway overall this mode is a lot of fun and as you can see it shakes up to be pretty massive versus some of the other offerings i mean here you've got him with the ultimate energon on the left so it's about the same height as that pretty big uh, but it absolutely dwarfs the mainline deluxe and studio series efforts and to put that in context with other optimus primes here you've got him with the blockies action edition on the left which is really really nice review of that on the channel and uh, the missing link anime version on the right and uh, oh well, there's a review of that one too anyway let's check out those other robot modes and the first thing you want to do is downgrade him yeah quite a satisfying movement in those knees uh, then here you want to take this bit fold these little wing pieces in on the sides and then move yeah this whole <laughs> panel back and kind of clip it in at the rear uh, and that is literally it so yeah pretty straightforward the actual power flip gimmick which we'll see in a minute is to get him back into the ultimate edition mode whereas this is just regular optimus prime bit shorter not quite as fancy but looks really good in my opinion i mean make no mistake here this is basically the same <laughs> robot mode just without a few of the bells and whistles and decorations and shorter legs nothing else really different to it of course now you've got this really nice head sculpt going on here the kind of optimus uh, regular optimus prime head sculpt and then this chest which is much more reminiscent of what you actually see in the film got the face plated head there which i really like it does look good it kind of looks if anything more like classic kind of g1 optimus prime than transformers 1 optimus in a way but I, it works for me as well it still reminds me of the screen and uh, very handsome and that chest section looks great really nice use of translucent blue plastic going on there the actual matrix accessory of course has flipped round to the back now which is strange but you get if anything a kind of facsimile of the matrix here i mean you can pull that chest section down it's on a little spring uh, and then you can see the kind of clear blue plastic piece underneath it's not like a gimmick as such because that's for transformation but there you go and when that section's lit up it looks absolutely awesome i'm not gonna lie this is a really nice effect and of course now that we've transformed him we've got some new sound effects too for the primes the cog of conversion i feel whole <laughs> okay Prime. And yes, of course you are. Now, obviously, if it's not clear, that is not Chris Hemsworth doing the voice, right? So, but it's fine. Honestly, it works. It's a bit weird, but it's kind of fun. I really like it overall. And again, that light up effect looks really cool. I really like this mode. It does a good job at representing the character and you can turn the head as well, which is a bit of a revelation. Like, honestly, I know these two are very kind of basic gimmick toys, but they're really serving in terms of looks, in my opinion. This is absolutely the kind of stuff that I want to see from a, a screen accurate-ish Optimus Prime, like not completely, but if they look great i think anyway we'll come back and do all the reverse transformations and the power flip gimmick in a minute but for now to get him into orion pax mode you want to bring this chest piece down and kind of clip it into place like so uh, and then you actually just shrink this whole section like that i'm gonna do that again because that was super good fun so yeah again with the chest down all you do is press just here and that is wicked and i've got to be honest i'm always very protective of these kind of gimmick toys firstly because i don't know there's always someone who's like determined to be a bit of a fun sponge and kind of poo poo them for yeah, being so like kid orientated or whatever but that's a huge part of the transformers brand and 
as it should be, you know, because you, you want to stoke kids' imaginations with this stuff. Secondly, I do think that the engineering and the design that goes into something like this is super clever and way more complicated than anybody would ever give it credit for. So, you know, props to them. This thing works exceptionally well. I think it's great. Now, obviously, what is quite funny here is the proportions <laughs> because I mean he's definitely got short king vibes going on let's just say that I, I think it's the fact that you know the legs are the same length as they were in the previous mode the arms are the same length all that's really changed is he's got a shorter body so he looks stacked if anything else <laughs> like it's really quite funny I mean it's funny to say that as a representation of Orion Pax who is the main form of the film you know this is the first one that i've seen so far the rest have all been going for optimus prime so that is something and you know as one mode of four i think this is great honestly it's got a lot of charm to it if nothing else and uh, you know it does look really good it does kind of look like the film in some ways you can rotate the head again as well so that's something <laughs> it just looks so beefy around here but honestly the head sculpt again is really really good you know it's a good likeness generally speaking it looks pretty handsome <laughs> just a funny time. I think it's just that they packaged him, you know, in his tallest, most like triumphant mode and <laughs> just get dumpier as he goes. Anyway, this does have more sounds and gimmicks now. Nice so work. Yeah, nice, nice work. There you go. Transform and roll out. Greetings. I am Orion Pax. I mean, let's be fair here. I am praising this thing and saying how much fun it would be for kids at the same time as acknowledging that as a parent myself, it would also drive me spare within a couple of days, right? Like I'd be taking the batteries out, but still, you know, you've got to admire it. Anyway, there is one more mode to go. So to transform him, first thing you want to do is flip those legs around. And then similar to some of the other toys, this bit here splits open and rotates back. At which point you get more sound effects. Then you want to come up to the shoulders, rotate those back, and actually pull out this grey piece with a bit of force. There we go. <laughs> rotate that down. And then here what we want to do is rotate the arm in like so, and then push that whole bit down so that it clips and the arm just pegs into place on the side of the leg. And of course you're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing over here. So there's that little clip just at the side of the arm. Now as with the other toys, there is a bit of weapon storage for the axe, so that just kind of slots in between the legs before you then close everything up, at which point the arms are popped out, of course, so <laughs> just get those back in. And we're done, and there's absolutely no kibble at all on this thing. I think it's a very clean alternate mode. Really, really good. No, I'm just joking. Obviously, there's, <laughs> there's these little shield bits to go on top as well. Oh, of course, now it's going to come untapped. But yeah, there you go. you got to fit that on top. And do you know what? It's really not that bad at all, <laughs> like, honestly. In terms of all of the alt modes of these various Optimus Primes that we've looked at, this is pretty cohesive. Like, honestly, it's got the feet hanging off the back, I know, and it's still got the arms and everything, but it's no more egregious than on some of the others. I mean, it definitely looks pretty kind of powerful and like, I don't know, it's got kind of like a road warrior vibe to it. It's, it's kind of meaty and I'm, I'm into it, honestly. I mean, look, none of these Optimus Prime toys are beating the man lying down accusations that I keep talking about in these reviews, right? Like, yeah, obviously the feet is a thing, the hands are a thing, it's just a, it's a whole thing. But you know, it rolls pretty well, hangs together nicely, does pretty much what I want it to. There's even a bit of interactivity with these cannons, which can fold away on the sides like so, and then you have a cheeky bit of optional weapon storage for the sword as well, if you really wish. And of course, and I feel this is pretty monumental, we have our final set of sound effects. What's it gonna be? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been better. Sure. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this thing does not disappoint. This flap here is quite funny because that's that little matrix flap, but as you rock it back and forth, it kind of sways a little bit and it kind of alerted me to the fact that if you lift it up, there he is, peekaboo. But you know, by and large, the presentation here is pretty good. Nice white Autobot logo, some little silver paint on the top, some yellow highlights. What more could you want? Besides, I do kind of feel like it's a lot more successful than the Ultimate Energon version in the truck mode, if anything else. I mean, it definitely looks more like it's supposed to. It's a lot more cohesive, as I say. They've both got feet hanging off the back. I don't know, I think it's really good. Obviously, it's got the parts forming element to it, so I'm sure that helps, but it works for me. Anyway, a big part of this toy is the transformation back to its robot mode as well so of course we're gonna cycle back through the modes because I want to check out that power flip gimmick for all it's worth first things first we've got to get 
all the bits back as they were to Orion packs. Yeah, oh, and apparently I missed this last time, but you are supposed to fold the smokestacks down like so for Orion packs mode. So points off for reviewing, if anything. But here we go. We're just going to get him back into Optimus Prime mode. You just pulled it up like so. And then this little chest piece comes up and he's Optimus Prime. And before we get to the bit we've all been waiting for, we've got to pull out those legs. It's time to do a power flip. And there you go, you're right back where you started. And suffice it to say, if you're not bought into this thing by now, you're never going to be, because it's simply not for you. It's a very kid-orientated thing, admittedly, but it's just fun. It's just tons of fun. What else can you say? Anyway, by and large, I think there's a lot to admire about Powerflip Optimus Prime. I was already kind of intrigued by the promotional stuff that I'd seen about it, and in hand, it really does not disappoint. It's goofy as you like, but you know what? It's definitely a toot. Now, as I mentioned before, today's video is brought to you by TF Source, so you will find a link to their site down in the description below, and you can check them out for all your Transformers needs. I'd also be very grateful if you could drop me a like for today's video, please, but otherwise, that's it from me, so have a great rest of your day, and TTFN.